this is Michael Diamond. You're watching Muscle Central. I'll be talking about the cross bench dumbbell pullover. You go into any gym and you're going to see 90% of the people doing that exercise are doing it in their chest routine. They seem to have the notion that by doing it, it's going to make their rib cage bigger. Reality check, there's no exercise in the world that's going to make your rib cage bigger. I think they probably got that idea from watching the movie Pumping Iron. You see Arnold doing the exercise, and they see that Arnold has his huge rib cage, massive chest. So, well, that's probably how he got it. No, that's not how Arnold got it. Arnold got that huge rib cage simply from genetics. That's right, mommy and daddy gave it to him. To help further illustrate my point, we have a boxer from the late 30s by the name of Max Bear. If that name sounds familiar, Max Bear had a son, Max Bear Jr., who played Jethro on the Beverly Hillbillies. Going back to uh, Max Bear the Fighter, he had a huge rib cage, and I can guarantee you that he was not doing cross bench dumbbell pullovers just like Arnold. He got it from mommy and daddy genetics. The, the, uh, there are only two ways to activate uh, chest muscles. Uh, one is by pushing away from the body, such as a bench press, incline bench press, push-ups. You're pushing away from the body. That's going to activate the chest muscles. The other is by squeezing in flies, cable flies, pec deck. Those exercises are going to activate the chest muscles. Pushing away, squeezing in, the only two, two ways to activate uh, chest muscles. Now, if you look at the motion of the dumbbell pullover, it's doing neither. I'm not, not to say that it's not a good exercise. It's actually an excellent exercise as an, ex as an exercise for the back, mainly the, the lats. That's the muscles from under the arm going down along the sides of the body. Some people ties in midway. Some people ties in down by the waist. They have low tie in for the lats. That's also purely genetic. But those are, that's the lat muscles. The muscles that are running alongside the body from the armpits down. Now, to help illustrate my point how the cross bench dumbbell pullover is a back exercise, a lat exercise. If Dorian Yates had a massive back, super wide, one of the exercises that helped him build that back was the pullover. He used the Nautilus pullover machine. Now, if you go into any gym that has a pull pullover machine, you're not going to see anybody using that machine in your in their chest routine. They're going to be using it in their back routine. If you visualize the cross bench dumbbell pullover and you visualize the pullover machine, you're essentially doing the same exercise. So if you're doing the pullover machine in your back routine, why would you want to do the cross bench dumbbell pullover in your back, uh, in your chest routine. It is a back exercise. It's essentially the same type of movement as you're doing in the pullover machine. Okay, I hope you found this useful. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and by all means subscribe. This is Michael Diamond from Muscle Central signing out.